to make venison with a plum and ginger sauce, one of my typical fusion style recipes. Now, I get all my game from the Wild Game Company, and they're based up in the northern parts of Scotland. So the, they've got very, very high quality, beautiful game. Um, and you can order all their meat from their website, which I think I'll put the link up somewhere down there. So for this recipe, I'm going to be using a strip loin piece of venison, or you could use a venison top side. That's also another good cut for pan searing. So we've got a good pinch of sea salt going in and some peppercorns. I'm going to grind that up. It's a drizzle of olive oil. So now we get your piece of venison and we're going to just season it with the salt and pepper. it all in. And now to make the plum and ginger sauce, which is very easy. All you have to do is throw a few ingredients in a pan, blitz it up, and you're ready to go. So the first thing, I've got about three juicy plums here, which I've de-stoned and chopped up into chunky pieces. Now I've got some red wine and also some ginger, which I've finely chopped, but that we're going to use, we're going to put in right at the very end. So now, first I'm going to heat a bit of butter in the saucepan. Into the butter, we're going to put the plum. And next, we're going to add a tablespoon of molasses, or really dark brown sugar, that's all it is. That's going to go. Plums and sugar are melted in. Now we're going to add some red wine, a bit of red wine. Leave this to reduce for a few minutes until the plums are soft and the liquid's a bit thicker. Then we're going to take it off the heat. Right. Lovely. It smells absolutely gorgeous. All right, we're going to take this off the heat now and leave it to cool down before we blend it. While the sauce is cooling down, I'm going to cook the venison. Now, I've got a frying pan here, which I'm going to heat up till it's quite hot before I put the venison in because the hotter it is, the better, as it seals the meat, and that seals all the juices in. Don't on there like that. Now we're going to thin this cooked. I've taken it off the heat so it doesn't keep on cooking, and I'm just going to cover it with some tin foil to keep it warm, um, and leave it to rest for about four minutes before you slice it. Put that one down. Okay. Now the sauce has cooled a bit, we're just going to blend it. Put the liquidised plums and wine sauce back into the pan. So the final ingredient is some, I've got some finely sliced ginger. Now that's going in. So there, now and I'm going to put this back onto the heat and add a bit of the venison juice to give it a bit more flavour. Add a little bit of water to the frying pan that I did the venison in and I'm going to pour the juice is in there, the sauce. All we have left to do is carve our venison. Oh, it's still got some more juices in there, so I'm going to add that to my sauce. Don't let any get away. <laughs> the juices are too nice to lose, so that looks delicious. I'm going to slice this into quite a thick, chunky slices, really. That's all it needs. And a little bit of the sauce all over. 